Let's look back at, uh, at this year just a little bit. Um, uh, in my article in the paper yesterday, I kind of pointed at Dove as being, in my mind, like the MVP kind of, mm -hmm. from the standpoint of uh, he, he came in and uh, just like out of nowhere, uh, kind of took over as far as the goaltending position goes. Talk a little bit about Dover. Uh, great guy. Um, he came in at a time when we really needed some help. Uh, we, like, I think he came in around the 15 game mark, right? Uh, Medicine Chicago, we just actually got a really big win in Grand Rapids. And then we uh, came to Chicago and uh, he met us up there and won there. And then we actually went on to Abbotsford and um, he played in Abbotsford for us the two games and shut him out, I think, the first game. And I think he let up one goal the second game. And um, he just was a huge addition for us at that time of the year just to gave us a lot of confidence and helped us get a lot of wins, especially his time that he, I think he played 19 or 20 straight games, I think it was, yeah. and might have got 14 or 15 wins during that time. So he, he was incredible. I'd definitely say he was the hard MVP and <laughs> helped push this team into the playoffs. And uh, it just seemed like um, the, the there was kind of like a perfect storm there in December where, you know, uh, James came in mm -hmm. and then you got John in, in January. Mm -hmm. It just seemed to be maybe that's where everything kind of um, – got ready for the playoff run? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, this team, I think, did a really good job of picking up and making additions to the to the hockey club, and they, the players that they brought in came in and, and, and fit real nicely and helped this team out. I mean, John came in with a lot of scoring ability, and he continued that and, and helped our power play. And I know, um, you know, it was pretty low whenever he showed up, and he did help it gain a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, I know we were, uh, you know, one of the lower power play units in the uh, – regular season, but uh, he was an offensive player that really helped out. And same with James, too. And they both, um, James was a huge uh, success for our power play during the playoffs. He, he did an incredible job out there, and, and same with John. You were here before, so you kind of knew what was coming with the February road trip. Mm -hmm. But uh, this year, boy, you guys did a great job <laughs> out there on the road. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a tough one sometimes. <laughs> but this team, for some reason, we obviously did really well on the road. Uh, and it was good for us to have that trip, I guess, because we gained a lot of points and a lot of ground on some teams and really put ourselves in a good position after that. It's a really weird year uh, league-wise where the road team seemed to be able to do well for some reason yeah. this year. Any particular reason that you can think of how that happened? I, I don't know. It's, <laughs> you never know. Sometimes years are just different. Um, some reason, I guess it mm -hmm. just worked out that way. Maybe uh, easier travel, you know, yeah. <laughs> you know, better meals on the road. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, getting into the playoffs, I mean, that was a big deal for mm -hmm. for, for the organization. I mean, it just seems like that uh, the, uh, the this the history of this of this uh, franchise has been one that ends middle of April. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, did, did you guys get a sense of? how important this was you know, from an organizational standpoint? Uh, we did. Um, we know that um, teams every year, they, they recruit players, they sign guys to come in because they do want to make playoffs. They want, they want their organizations to do well, make, create winning you know, environments. Mm -hmm. And so it was a huge deal for us, especially the guys that came from Rochester that didn't make playoffs. And then the guys, you, you know, we had a handful of guys, the Yonkman and Kearns that were here in San Antonio that didn't make playoffs the year before either. And so there was a lot of guys that, that really wanted to, you know, make playoffs and establish themselves as making playoffs, become playoff players, playoff teams. And, and so that was a big deal for us. It was a grind. Uh, I mean, you'd, one day you'd go from fourth place to 12th place. I mean, so okay. mentally and physically, it was, it was actually really tough um, for every team in this division just, just to get into playoffs and... and <laughs> I mean, it, by the end of the last weekend, I mean, we, you know, we had to get one point in the last game of the season against a team that, you know, we knew we'd have to see in playoffs if we made it, and obviously right. we did, and they, they're the ones that beat us, but it was a huge game for us there, and, and obviously you play 76 games, it comes down to the very last one, and you're one point away, and you know, we were fortunate enough to get in, so. Uh, from um, uh, another aspect about the organization here with, uh, with the Panthers, uh, they, they seem to, I don't know, maybe it's just the sentimentality that I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm feeling right now, but it just seemed like they gave guys that, um, that, that haven't had that NHL experience a chance. They, they brought mm -hmm. up Rack and they brought up Ray for a while, mm -hmm. and then you got a chance to go up. You know, the, how, does that, how does that affect you guys like from a, a player standpoint, knowing that you're, you're with that kind of a, an organization? Um, the, the, this is a good organization with that. I mean, last year when I came in and the... 
you know, mindset was that who, who's ever producing or playing the best and can fit and help our team in the NHL when we need it is going to get the call. And they've always stuck true to that. They've always been honest with me uh, over the last two years. And, you know, the Gregs and Bracken, you know, the guys that got called up when they did, they, it's because they deserved it. And uh, that's something that's something you really look for in an organization. Uh, just, you know, the honesty f- fact of mm-hmm. what's going to happen with you in your future and what's your chances. And some teams can say, yeah, you got a good chance, you know, and then you could be playing really well, but you never get that chance. But this is an organization that you're playing well, you get your chance, we're going to, you know, we're going to reward you. So it's, it's something to really look into whenever you sign with a team and their honesty and their integrity level, which this team was always honest and with every single player here. One more, uh, I know you were here before, so I think you can compare. But um, what was it like this year, maybe compared to your past experience with uh, with the with the crowds, with mm-hmm. the fans here? Did you, did you notice a difference? Oh yeah, that? absolutely. Um, it's I think I played one game here against the Rampage. That's it. And so I don't think there's too many people. But I was with Wilkes-Barre, so it was right. an East team coming in that never ever shows up. It's you know not a team that people are very familiar with, but. Uh, the first couple of years, I think, you know, we were scratching three, four, five, mm-hmm. you know, on good nights sometimes. And here, this year was just incredible. Um, you know, we had 16,000. I know it was a promotional night. It was a, for a good cause and stuff like that. But that's really, really big. I mean, that's that's something that a Hershey does. You know, uh, Providence can get that much. Or even when Manitoba was in the league, they can they can pull those big numbers like that. And it's just to show that it, the popularity that's growing in the city for this hockey club and, you know, if the team keeps doing well, then hopefully people keep coming and keep enjoying it. Well, you really meant a lot to um, the team when you came in here. I know um, it uh, might have caught you by surprise to kind of come to San Antonio uh, back in, uh, in mid-season. Well, first of all, what was thinking back on that now? Um, was that something that um, that you uh, you appreciate, or is it something that uh, you kind of uh, you enjoyed the play here in San Antonio? I mean, what was the whole? Um, transition from Charlotte to here all about for you? Uh, it's kind of a shock at the time. Um, you know, I really wasn't expecting to get traded. Uh, I wasn't really asking for a trade, kind of like, uh, I guess I heard Dad and I was, but um, no, it was good. I enjoyed my time here. Uh, I was able to, uh, able to go somewhat deep in the playoffs, obviously not as far as we wanted to. Um, it's a it's a quality quality team they had assembled here, and it was just nice coming and trying to uh, to add my skills to uh, to the team. Well, it sure came in handy. I mean, I know the team was kind of struggling offensively, so uh, obviously when you make a trade, you're looking for someone that can help you in that regard. So you really turned it around there. What what was the um, the big thing that you think that uh, that helped you guys kind of get it together to to make that playoff run? Um. I'm not too sure. I mean, like when I came here, they were in the middle of their seven-game win streak. Uh, I think I kind of came game two or three of it, maybe. Mm-hmm. But um, I mean, anytime you can put together seven wins during the season in a row, uh, it's really going to help your playoff chances. Uh, obviously, it wasn't like the 30, 29, something like that for Norfolk. But um, <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, the seven, the seven definitely helps your your playoff chances. What was your, um, I don't know about your, your past experience um, as far as road trips go, but uh, you know, the annual February road trip here, uh, you guys played really well away from this building for, uh, for February. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of uh, never been on the road for an entire month before. <laughs> uh, that was something special. Um, I think, I guess, maybe in the past it might have been the downfall of the team, but I think this year we kind of rallied together and we made it. Um, through our efforts that month, I think that really set us up for the, for the stretch run, and it really helped us out for our playoff push. It was kind of madness, wasn't it, there in March and April? I mean, uh, you guys could go from fourth place down to twelfth. I mean, in just a couple of days. Yeah, I'd, I'd never seen anything that that tight before. Um, I mean, anytime you can lose a game, be out of the playoffs, win a game, be in fourth place, you know, it's <laughs> it's something crazy. I mean, it just kind of kind of talks to the parity of the league, though. In your mind, what was uh, maybe what was one, maybe the highlight or one of the few highlights that you that you can remember of, of uh, the Rampage season? Um, I mean, anytime you can win a deciding, uh, not game seven, but mm-hmm. I mean game five, right. kind of like a do or die situation in double overtime. Obviously, that's pretty exciting. We can be a part of that, um, playing and setting up the goal. I think that's that's something I'll look back on um, as probably one of the coolest parts of, of my year. Um, 
kind of didn't quite get the balances we needed in, in the Oklahoma City series. I mean, it's, uh, you know, three overtime games in a row. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. So I, I honestly feel like we, we had the team to, to maybe go all the way this year. So. All right. Thanks, John. Thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, one more question for me. Uh, yeah. In your time here, you kind of led the team in video bombs. I think I saw your smiling face in the background of videos and all of that. Are you planning to keep that up? I would like to, actually. I'm kind of a bone to pick with you. You kept editing me out of the, the, the ones. I got a good one on Bill Thomas, but then I kept getting edited out. So not too happy about that.